Election night saw the passage of issue 12, which changed how TARDA gets funding from taxpayers. Our Michael Sandlin is live in studio tonight to explain these changes. Michael, how do leaders expect this change to improve public transportation overall? Jeff, the passage of issue 12 saw the repeal of TARDA's property tax and the implementation of a new half percent sales tax. The CEO tells me this change will mean TARDA's transit funding will go from 13 million to 32 million. And she says there are big plans for that funding. For the first time ever, TARDA plans to have lines extending to every part of Lucas County, as well as more buses on the road, which she says haven't been upgraded in well over 12 years. And those vehicles will be electric. TARDA says the official plan for all of these changes will be submitted as early as next spring. It is a system redesign, so we will start mapping out the new bus routes. We'll start taking a look at how we provide paratransit service, call a ride to the entire Lucas County area. TARDA riders can expect to travel to every corner of Lucas County in the fall of 2022. Coming up at 6, we'll hear reactions from riders, and I'll explain how these changes will be affecting your property taxes. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.